Hello and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday, the 13th of June 2019, and the time has just gone 9.15 British summer time. And this week's chart of the week of the week is the Russell 2000, or as we call it on our platform, the US Small Cap 2000. Um, starting off with the wider view, uh, the Russell 2000 has had a fairly decent bounce back, like most, uh, like, like all major global indices, since late December. Uh, we've had a steady push higher uh, in the la in the last few months. Um, but we have, like many global indices, we have seen a move to the downside uh, in, in the last few weeks. And the Russell 2000 remains below this red line here, this metric, the 200-day moving average, which comes to play at 15.37. And it seems to me that the Russell 2000 is underperforming when you compare it to it with some of the other major US indices. And also, if you look at the performance uh, of, say, European uh, indices, it seems to be underperforming. And I'm wondering, could we see, uh, should we see a further sell-off in global stocks? Could the Russell 2000 uh, actually fare worse than some of its counterparts? And why I picked the Russell 2000 is because the bounce back that we saw between late December and and May, uh, you know, late April and May, was quite impressive. But notice how the highs uh, that were achieved in May were nowhere near the all-time highs that were achieved back in September last year. So that's the first point. Uh, second point is if you take a look at the S&P 500, uh, the wider view is that the S&P 500 had all-time highs uh, in about October 2018, there thereabouts, and but the rally that we saw in the S&P 500 from late December until um, until May managed to actually produce fresh all-time highs. And if you look here at the price action, the, uh, uh, well over half of the ground that was lost between May and early June and, and the S&P 500, well over half of that has been regained. So we're we are firmly above the S&P 500's 200-day moving average, where, whereas uh, if you take a look back at the S the Russell 2000, we're still actually still below uh, its 200-day moving average. So it's clear that the Russell 2000 is underperforming. And should we see a continuation of the trade uncertainty between the U.S. and China, uh, we might see further pressure on global stocks. And in turn, seeing as the S as the Russell 2000 has been underperforming uh, major indices so far, it could continue to do so in the near term. So if we continue. A bit the whole bit below this red line, the truly moving average, which we can see act as both res uh, uh, resistance and support in the last few months. If you if can hold, if you continue to hold below that, uh, it's likely we could see um, further losses. And should the market turn over on itself again on the S&P, on the Russell 2000, we could see the market heading back down towards the psychologically important uh, 1,500 area. Uh, should we go below that, we could be heading back down towards 1,470, and a move below that could bring in the late, could bring in the early June low of in around 14.54 into play. And any moves below that would then be setting fresh multi-month lows, and we could see further losses from there. But we're also fairly, at, we're also at if we're close to a fair, what's potentially a fairly interesting area for the rest of 2000. So we have a number of them of the moving averages converging in on this area. So this red line here is the 30 moving average. This yellow line is the 130 moving average, which we can clearly see act as support on a few occasions recently. This blue line is the 50 day moving average, which comes to play at 15, uh, 1549. And we can see that act as both resistance and support uh, in recent weeks. So we're quite close to what could potentially be an important area. Now, this zone here, could has a potential to either be a potential resistance point whereby the market pushes higher, runs into resistance, and then turns lower, or it could be the point where the market moves higher, gains uh, footholding up around this area here, holds above the 50-day moving average, and then looks to press on higher. So if, if you can manage to retake the 50-day moving average um, and press on higher beyond that, we could be looking at uh, retesting uh, the mid may may high of 1568. And if you go beyond that, we could be looking towards this, this area here, 1590. And uh, we can see on a few occasions, it did act, there's a lot of consolidation uh, in, in recent weeks. And if you go beyond that, we could then be looking at uh, retesting the early May highs. If you are going to be trading uh, the Russell 2000 or any of the US indices, it's worth noting tomorrow on Friday, the 14th of June, we have US retail sales. That can add a bit of volatility to the markets. Uh, and finally, if you have any comments to make on this video or any of the other videos we've made here at CMC Markets, please feel free to leave a review on Google Reviews. Thank you very much.